Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude. I'm doing a video real quick to show you what I've been picking up from Half Price, Half Price Books. I've been picking up a lot of stuff these past few weeks, and I've got some really good deals, and I'm surprised at what I found. Some stuff I'm not sure if I showed before, but if I show it twice, it's, it shouldn't be a problem because everybody likes looking at comics and stuff like that and making deals and sh sharing and see what other people have. But um, I'm going to try to go through this fairly quickly just so you can see everything I got because i got a huge stack. But uh, this one, I got this one signed by Scott McDaniel years ago, and I wanted to have one that wasn't signed just so I could look at it and read it again. I like to even see these in trade paperback, but I'm not sure if they are. But this is Batman number uh, 575. That's when he first took over. And everything is doing Batman. This is very good. I love his artwork. Everything. He was cool to talk to. He was very personable. Um, he took time with me, and I said, Ah, oh, you know what? There's a long line. I want to hurry up and go through and you can sign just a few books and everything and just thank you for your artwork he goes no you still in line just as long as everybody else he said because it was a long line before i even got there he said you want to talk some more we'll talk and i was like wow so we talked about artwork i showed him some of the stuff that i was drawing i drew a picture of nightwing and let him see um the style that i had and he liked it um he complimented me and everything we talked a little bit more and i shook his hand and everything and he lives in pittsburgh um he was very cool but um I like to meet him again, him same way with George Perez, Angel Angel Medina, and there's a few others that are really cool. Um, that's that. Here's uh, uh, Batman and Robin, Boy Wonder, number uh, six. I don't think I bought these when they first came out, but I wanted to get them then. They, they were at half price books for a dollar, so I picked them up. But that was cool. Most of these are a dollar that I got. This is Batman and Robin, Boy Wonder, number two. The artwork looks really cool and everything. The story might not have been the greatest, but um, it's just really cool team up. Him and Frank, Jim Lee and Frank Miller, very cool. These I was surprised to get. These were, I just picked these up a couple days ago. Um, I got one of these already. This is my second copy, Doctor Strange, number one. The new one that they just put out a couple years ago. Uh, I got number two. I, I didn't collect them. I think I might have this one too, but I don't know why I didn't collect them. I, I had a whole bunch of other books I was getting. When they started off all these new titles and everything, um, redoing them again, and I just had to cut back. So, but this one I like um, his artwork, Bocello, Chris Bocello, or Bocello. He's very good. I like his stuff. But that's number two. Here's number three of that, and I have to read that story. It's really good. And then I see Kevin Nolan did some um, artwork for these, and these were going for a pretty good price. I, from me checking out on mycomicshop.com. That's number four. Here's number five. Everything, because like I said, I stopped reading some of them. Here's number six. And they had more copies. I think they went from all the way up to number 12. They had to run all the way up to number 12, but I just got the first six. I said, I'll read these, and I'll go back and get the other ones, if they're there. But um, this was something else I thought was cool. These are glow-in-the-dark covers, Batman. This is number 530. It's got a little glow-in-the-dark thing. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, it's got like a something on his... Uh, face that's like a ghost or something ghost image but that's number 530 uh, here's 531 this is a glow in the dark see so you got the ooh glow in the dark thing so that's pretty cool maybe i'll have to turn the light out and see i don't know if you have to like shine a light on it for a little bit let it get charged up and then turn the light out and see it but uh here's 532 i don't think they're worth anything much um fine uh, price wise and everything but uh they were cool so i thought i'd grab them i'm looking forward to reading these two this is jones kelly jones artwork and everything kelly jones is awesome i like to get one of his art books the big art artist edition books that they come out with to show the original artwork like that'd be cool and this i picked up too i got like a whole stack of uh battlestar galactica books at this one pl half price books i went to this is number 13 uh and i think i got number seven in this pile as well but I was missing a few of them, so I got to get... This is one I was missing. And like I said, I got a whole um, stack of them here. Look at that. Up to... No, this is... Up. That's Drifter. I got those. But... And New World. I got that. But up to 23. So 1 through 23. And a few of them were missing, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Oh, these, I wasn't sure if they were worth anything. I don't think they are, but he's popular right now. I remember getting them when they first came out. Darkhawk. Darkhawk number two was there. I didn't see number one, though. 
and Dark Hawk number three. I remember when this first came out, I'm like, okay, Spider-Man's got to make his appearance. He always in issue two or number three of any book that's out. Here comes Spider-Man. But it was cool. Dark Hawk was an interesting character. I like the single characters like Spider-Man, uh, Sentry, uh, Spawn, or uh, Superman, Batman. I like when they're by themselves. And when Aquaman, when they add certain things in them, it's kind of cool. But I usually like to center on the one character. Um, team books are good too, but I usually like the one single character. This I thought was cool. This was a dollar. Night Force. One shot. It was regular to eight bucks or something like that, but it was for a dollar. So I got it. It's really, see, it's really thick. So, got a bunch of stories in it. See, 100 page. Spectacular. And this, my girlfriend found this at a uh, uh, thrift store. So it's, I think I might have showed this before, but I'm not sure. Spawn number one. She paid 10, 10 bucks for it. But it's got a tear in it. You can see right there. Other than that, I flipped through it. It looks really good. It's just got that tear there. Might No dings really on the edges or anything like that. The edges are pretty tight. But, um... It just really, it, no, it didn't look like really any, it's got a few ticks in it, as people call them, and stuff. But for 10 bucks, it wasn't bad. And I haven't had this, I had, like, when I remember when it first came out, I think I had five copies of it. And when all the books came out, like Savage Dragon and Spawn, all of them, I bought multiples of all of them. Because uh, Image was hot back then. And it took a while for them to do some of their books and everything, but uh, Cyber Force, uh, all the other ones, wet works and all of them. I have multiple copies of all the issues, but I sold them back then, years ago. And you look back and you're like, <sighs> but what are you gonna do? And I got these all. For, I got the rest of them for a dollar though. I, they had 20% off at half price books on Labor Day weekend, and I bought these. They were in a big stack. I went uh, one day, and they weren't there. And I saw a lady put a stack down, and I went through a bunch of other books, and I left, and I came back the next day. I think it was a Sunday. And I found these sitting on the chair. Nobody had gone to them. This is number three. Um, here's number five. Very cool. All these were really nice. In good condition, too. Number six. All for a dollar. Number seven. Number eight. I remember reading these back when they came out. Twelve. Here's fifteen. This right here, I think it did. They did a re. They did a redoing of this, like uh, Francisco or Francesco uh, Martina did this with Todd McFarlane. They did the pencil and ink version, and then they did a painting version of in a new Spawn book. I, I didn't buy it, but um, I compared this to when I saw this. Hey, that looks familiar. And this is it, all the way back in 1995 or 94 or something like that. They did this. So maybe even sooner. I, I think that might be 1992. Who knows? I can't remember exactly, but uh, number 20, that's cool. Here's 22, 23, I got that glare. Here's 24, uh, 25, 26, all for a dollar, 27. And 20% off. 28. 29. 28. I got two copies of that. 29. 30. 31. The anti uh, spawn. 32. 34, 35, yep, get in the pile over there, 36, here's 37, 38, and 39, and 40 is all I could find. But still, very nice. All in good condition, too. Probably 9, 9.0s, maybe high, obviously higher. I know there's some people that can grade them better than I do. I, I, I don't really get into that, but I'm learning. So this looked interesting, so I picked it up. North, 
North 40, number one. I'm not sure if it's worth anything, but I never saw this before. So I said, hey, Wildstorm. I said, I'll pick this up. Maybe it's kind of cool. We'll see. Okay, if you know anything about it, let me know. And these were good. These were in nice condition. I had all of these, too. Savage Dragons, number one. That's the second one. They did, they did the six-part series or something, or it's for four-part books. I had him running and everything on it. And with an orange background. And they, and they came out with volume two. This was cool. Number two. With the turtles. Here's number three. Got the creeper. Or something like that. Whatever his name is. Something like that. Here's number five. He came up with some great characters. And just cool stories. Number six. Freak Force. Here's number seven. Number eight. Got these all for a dollar too. They were in the same pile with the uh, spawns. Number nine. And last number ten. That's all I could find. And they had other numbers like further up, but I didn't pick those up. I wanted to see if I can collect more. I mean, if you're patient and everything, and just go out, you'll find stuff. And everything. I found some great things. This is at my one of my local comic book stores. These were they got a dollar box. City of Heroes number one. Because he got a Mel sticker on it. Somebody got it Mel to his house. Everything he must have sold them to him. That's number one of that. I like that character. And this is uh, City of Heroes number two. Thought that was cool. When you look at them, they look like a um, an alternate version of uh, like Squadron Supreme, but they're like Justice League. Very cool. Um, let's see. These are. Let me sure try to find the other ones that I got that were. And I just picked these up today at my half price bookstore. I like this one. I thought it was cool. I didn't really want to get it. It was three ninety nine. But I, I love the cover and I love um it's a uh it's a Middleton or uh, Middleton's artwork. But I thought that was cool. Or Francesca, I can't remember exactly, but it, uh, it's very good. So I thought I like his uh Supergirls. So I thought that was cool. I picked that up three ninety nine half price books. This one, I hadn't had this in a while, so I said, let me pick this up. I'm going to maybe do a video flipping through it, looking at it. But I thought that was cool. Witchblade, Wizard Special. Wizard was cool when it came out. This one, I got all the other ones, but this one. I picked them up on Labor Day. This is Friend Over Four Friend uh, Part 2. And I got the other ones, like 1 through 8. Let's see, it went to, went to 8, but I didn't have number 2. So I found it today. So, Superman Front of Four Friend. Front of Four Friend. It jumped uh, all through different titles. Adventures of Superman, Action, Man of Steel, Superman. Um, and that was Action Comics and they had Supergirl on it. But I picked that up today and I thought that was cool. I said, okay, that's my last one. Now I can start reading it. Uh, these, I, I picked up these stories. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly where I stopped. But I had cut back on buying books. Well, this is Birthright 24. This was a good story. I liked it. These were all for a dollar. Here's Birthright, number 25. Image Comics, number 26. That's what I got with that one. This was weird, uh, but it was a good story. Um, this is number 20 of Kill or Be Killed. I'm not sure if I show this. Now, this is, I think, is the last issue. I'm going to have to go back and see which ones I'm missing. And I found a bunch. I found about five of these, like, up to issue 15 or something. When I had stopped buying, I found, like, 12 through 15 or 12 through 16 at Half Price Books for a dollar. This here was cool, Nameless. I think this is going for a little bit of cash. I bought the first three issues, and I stopped. And this was back in um, a few years ago, too. That's number one. Drifter, I got the first few issues of this, like um, up to 10, I think. And I stopped, and these have been sitting there for a while. This is issue 10, or issue number 11. Nobody had bought them, but I checked the art artwork inside. It looks really cool. This is number 12. Let me sure. Uh, yeah, number 12. I got 1 through 10, and this is the 11, 12. Here's 13. Uh, 14. When I saw a whole run like that, I said, you know what, I'm going to get them. For a dollar, hey, you can't pass them up. Regular three ninety nine. Here's 15. I'm going to check the story out, and it looked interesting. That's a cool cover. I'm assuming that's 16. He has 16. Here's, uh, 17. 
I hate when they put the numbers somewhere you can't find them. 17, that's cool. Very cool colors. Nice painting style. Really nice. Here's 18. It's just like you see the coldness of this. Look at how cold that looks. Out in space, that's 19. Yeah, 19. And I think that might be it. There may be more. I got to go back and check. This, I'm not sure if I showed this yet. But cold spot number uh, one, that was a very good story. I liked that. That's a regular price. I paid for that. Um, Oblivion number uh, six. I still have to read that, but I've been liking it. Uh, Hot Lunch. I think I might have showed these before. They're just in the pile. Number one. I didn't read that yet, but I got to check it out. I, somebody told me Jim Comics said it was good. So I, or it's a speculation book. So I said I'd pick it up. These are new ones that I got from half uh, half price books. Uh, I didn't have them. Here's Thanos, number eight. That was in the pile with the spawn. I was surprised. I was like, wait a minute. How in the world? It was a good pile. Uh, and here's number nine. Thanos, number nine. And I'm missing a few of those. I got a bunch of them. But I'm missing a few of them when I get that. I'm going to go back through the story. I read one through five. I bought them when they first came out, one through six. And then I stopped. So I, I'm glad I got those. This was kind of cool. Dingbats of Danger Street, number one. Thought it was cool. Jack Kirby stuff. Four dollar. And then I got all of these. These were at um, the uh, stores too. I'm not sure if I showed these. This is the shiny cover. Echo. Terry Moore's Echo. This is the first cover with the uh, first issue printing with the shiny uh, silver cover. Or logo. logo. That's number one. That's the second printing without the uh, shine. That's number one there. There's number two of Echo. Number three of Echo. My girlfriend started reading this. She, she liked it. She didn't finish it yet. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Looks like Luke Skywalker almost. Oop. Oop. Yes. Number eight. Number nine, number 10, there's 11, there's 12, there's thir 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I'm surprised they had them all there, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I went through all of them to make sure they were all there. 23, 24, 25, 26, all for a dollar and 20% off. 27, 28, come on. 29 and the last 30. There was 30 issues in that series. So that's a lot of reading to do. But it's very good. They were all nice, crisp, clean copies. Whoever turned them in um, obviously took very good care of them. So that was good. But uh, here's some of the other stuff I got uh, recently. I'll go a little bit longer on this and then we'll be done. Uh, House of Muck. I'm not sure if I showed this. I think I did. I picked that up number one. I heard it was a, like a speculation book. I heard it was good. Beyonders. This too. Number one. Uh, this one I just picked up. Felonious Funnies. I had a friend, Chris Ambar. He used to work with Simpsons. I'm not sure if he's doing anything with them or not right now, but he used to write stories for them. Bart Simpson and stuff like that. He was good. We worked on comics before as well, years ago. Felonious Funnies. Uh... This one, I love Dave Mack artwork. I'm missing one of them. There's one that I gotta get, but I'm gonna collect all of these with his artwork on them. He's cool, very awesome. This I just picked up today. Um, I almost got it at a half price books for a dollar, along with the one with Professor Zoom on it. And I was like, eh, I don't want them. <laughs> and I look back, I'm thinking, why didn't you grab them? Because they're cool looking covers, and I didn't buy them. This I pay regular cover price for it at one of my local comic book stores, Comic Town. It's very good. We had two copies. I was going to grab both of them. I said, no, I'll just grab one. But uh, 
that's flash number uh, what is it 40 it's 40 something 48 flash 48 but I got the other ones I ordered the other ones online somewhere so I, I'm, I'm gonna get those two thief of thieves this is a very good story it's um on issue 40 right now but uh this I heard was good so I'm gonna pick it up I got the center one they had the one with the actual word in there the F word in there and they had crossed it out they had a bag and board on they crossed it out but when you take it out you can see it but I didn't want that I said I'll get this one instead of the other one I thought that was kind of cool and they've since it out her flipping the flipping the bird that's number one burnouts this I keep hearing that's a great story I have yet to read it I don't know why just so many other things I'm doing stuff like that but you collect them you know and you put them in a pile this is number five a venom I heard it was one of the greatest stories uh in comics right now it's it's one of the greatest it's really good so I'm gonna have to pick it up and read it and see how they're doing it that's number six and I got um these uh, oops, Justice League. I might have showed this before, but I got all these Justice League number one, and I love this stuff. This is Justice League number seven, but I like the Jim Lee ones. Here's number two, Martian Manhunter. Number three, Hot Girl. Very cool. And then number four, Wonder Woman. Number five, Cyborg. Number six, Green Lantern. John Stewart. Very cool. And then these, I'm thinking I'm going to collect these as many as I can when they come out. The uh, PlayStation 4 version. Spider-Man. But that's Avengers. Avengers number seven. Variant cover with Mr. Negative on there. This one I got at my local comic books. Another local comic book store, Laughing Ogre. Uh, the, uh, they got it for $6.99. I see it for a lot higher prices on other places, other sites online and stuff. Midtown Comics has it for eight fifty, but I saw this as I'm picking it up. That's um the annual number one with the uh, PS4 version armor or suit on, everything. And it's like they're doing a remake of that cover that uh, Steve McNiven did he draw it the first time. I'm not exactly sure. Batman fifty five. I just liked the cover and thought it was cool. V Nam number one. Thought that was cool. Venom first host. These I got for regular prices. This is my comic book store. I picked up two of these. This is number eight of Joker. Jim Lee version. Got to get them. And this I thought was funny. Robots versus princesses. I remember I saw it on in the order book, but I didn't get it. But I got these now. Cover price. What is it? Uh. It doesn't say. Hmm. Probably three ninety nine, something like that. Robots vs. Princess is number one. And here's number two. Dynamite Entertainment. Cool. This, I got two covers of this one. I don't have I'm not sure where the other one is. Catwoman number three, is it? Yeah. Very cool. He's got some awesome artwork. Art germ. Awesome. These, I couldn't believe these were at the store. This is a popular cover here. Red 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 Hood and the Outlaws. Number 25. They had two of them undercover. This was that Laughing Ogre as well. I picked them up. I said, I'm grabbing them. Cool cover. I saw it when it was at Midtown Comics when I was ordering online. But for some reason, I said, nah, I don't want to get it. And I'm like, okay, I better get it now. It's just cool. But I, I liked it. I got the first 10 issues of that, and I loved it. But I just stopped. This is what over, was over at Laughing Ogre as well. Um, Red Hood and the Outlaws number 26. Thought it was cool. And I told him, I said, you know what? You guys have a lot of covers that are sold out in other places. And she, she, the little girl that works there, she said, yeah, we try to keep a lot of stock in. And they do. And they limit some of the prices, some of the books you buy. Like if, they, it's, a, if it's a popular book, they don't let you buy all of them. But when it gets kind of cools down a little bit, then you can buy as many as you want. This I thought was cool. They had this there as well. I was like, wow. This is number three of uh, Venom, a reprint. So is that uh, third printing? That's cool. They come, they have so many different covers though that they come out with. I mean, he, they got him sitting on another on the chair. That what's that guy's name? Sitting on a chair and another version of it, and just cool art, awesome art. Infinity Wars number three. I love Diodato, Diodato's artwork. I still have to sh show that art book. I'm gonna do it. And this I went back and picked up 
because I heard it was good. I liked the Spider-Verse story before, and um, I read the whole thing and loved it. I loved those, the villains in there, those guys sucking the spiders dry and everything and from each thing and killing them all, stuff like that. Now they're loose and they're coming back. I'm like, ugh. So this is number two. This was on the shelf. I was surprised. So, and this is number three. Of that and I got those at laughing over as well but uh, let's see I'll do these last ones and I'll be done I didn't show these before Avengers number one I tried to get the spider version or the uh, ps4 version of that it was 850 online at Midtown comics and when I go to order it gone I had it in my um, mailbox and I waited too long to buy it this I thought was cool number one superhero adventures Number one, that was fun. I'm sure, I'm not sure if I showed these yet or not. I think I did. Dolph Lundgren, Punisher, number one, new series that they're doing right now. I'm not sure if that's volume, what volume that is. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, love Ryan Otley's artwork. I'm not sure what he's doing. If he's taking a break or something, they got other people drawing him for a while, then he's going to come back. I'm not sure. Watertown, number one, they had that cover. I thought that was cool. And that was that um, Laughing Ogre as well. Heard this was good. Steam Age Wasteland. This was that Laughing Ogre a few weeks ago. I bought this. Cool. Just artwork. I thought that was cool. And I love Benitez's artwork. These are so awesome. I got almost all of the books, but I don't have all the covers. It'd be something to do a hunt for. I've never found any of these in a hunt. But uh, you can find them online, but to find them in a hunt would be awesome. That's number one of the new story. La Belle Dame, La Belle Dame Sans Mercy, number one. That's pronounced right. That's number, here's number two. And they got two covers for number one. Let me show this better. But they got shoot two covers for number one. But it's just the detail, the steampunk. Look at the, the ruffles and everything and the jewelry and everything, the belts and stuff. He's he's awesome. And the colorist, I think it's Steigerwall. That guy's hot. He did all of um, uh, Michael Turner's stuff when he was out. Because he worked over at um, Aspen. This is uh, Scavenger, Starcraft Scavengers, number one. Dark Horse, I have to get that. Uh, these are all regular price, these last ones. Lost Explorers, Explorers, number one, from Aftershock. That looked interesting. So I said, usually I try number ones, and if I don't like it, I don't get it anymore. Just number 38. This is good. I love Black Science. I like Matt Remendo's artwork. I mean, his storytelling. He's awesome. But that's it of that. That's number 38. And I'm going to keep getting that. Same, same thing with Thief of Thieves and anything else. Venom. And the Venom covers are looking good. And Catwoman covers are looking good with our germ stuff. Uh, Francesco, I'm not sure what he's doing next. I have to keep track of him to see where he's going next and buy his covers. But thank you very much for watching. That's about it. I wanted to show you real quick all the stuff I have. This took a half hour. Usually I try to do 15-minute videos because your patience kind of runs short or you just get tired but if it's interesting hopefully it's interesting to you and you like what i showed you and please comment and let me know what you think let me know what books you've gotten i've seen some stuff that people have gotten you're like how in the world did you get that but it depends on who in your area is trading stuff and at the half price books who in your area is marking stuff down at your local comic book store or doing buying uh people's collections and stuff like that you don't know what they got if the owner doesn't know what they have i'm sure if you have a comic book store you want to know what you got you want to know what's uh the pricing of stuff is going for what things are going for what's hot what's not but you're not going to catch everything and hopefully you have maybe customers or people that are working for you that will give you a heads up but if not then as long as you paid a good price for it when you got it and you made a profit if you sell it and you miss out on something then uh, it's not a bad thing, but I mean, you might lose out, but at least you got your money out of it to start. And if somebody buys it for a good price and you make your money off of that and they sell it and make a profit off of it too, then that's just how things go. But like I said, you're not going to catch everything. Like when I go to half price books or if I go to a comic book store, if I see something on the shelf, like some of these uh, flash books I found on the shelf for a regular price, they're online selling for twice or three times as much. I'm like, wow. But, um... That's just how it goes and everything. And then sometimes you you don't get to do it. Like, I'm not going to sell some of these books. Some of the stuff I'd like to do if I can, I'm going to work out a um, contest.
to get some more subscribers and everything I've talked about it before, but I'm going to try to work something out with Hot Wheels and some of the comics. That's where I've been trying to get doubles of everything. So if I find a really hot book or cool Hot Wheels or something like that, I'll trade some of the doubles that I got. Like my Hot Wheels, I got like about 100 doubles of stuff. So I'm going to trade those. I've gotten those over the past few years. So if I can trade some of those, I got to find out what shipping costs and everything and how far I want to ship. If I want to ship out of out of well, obviously out of state, maybe just keep it in the country, the United States. If I want to go any further, if I have any other people that are outside the country, and I do, that um, watch my videos. So we'll see. I have to just find out pricing and stuff like that. But if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, then I'll just show stuff and just hope that people subscribe because they like what they got. We like what I'm doing. But um, I got to finish a video for the Alex Ross book. Uh, I've been, I put up three videos for that, but I'm going to finish that and I'm going to do some other stuff like with, um, uh, Mike Diodato. I have some Mark Silvestri stuff I want to show and some more Todd McFarlane stuff, those different art books that they did and some Michael, Michael Turner stuff and everything, but I'm going to get to it as I can, but thank you very much for watching. This is fun. I love doing this stuff. Um, I love watching other people's videos. I got behind on watching a lot of stuff, but I got to get back into it and just pop a video on when I'm doing something, eating or, um, before I go to bed, sometimes I'll watch a video and see what something what somebody's doing. But uh, it's it's just fun. This is a cool community and everything. And thank you for everybody that subscribed to me, that watches my videos and comments, everything, um, and share them. And uh, just comment and let me know what you think, what you like, and what books um, you think are cool and what you guys are getting. But thank you very much, guys. And you guys have a great night. And um, collect collected dude out, and I will talk to you later.